Hey guys, it's Amra here with Gear Up Surplus, and we are going to start a rollout series released every month to help you build the perfect bug out bag. Uh, in today's video, we are going to discuss what a bug out bag is, uh, different scenarios for a bug out bag, why to have a bug out bag, and which bug out bag you should choose when you start accumulating and building up a bug out bag. So before we get started, as you see, I am in this six color desert camouflage. For the month of January, if you watch this later, sorry, it won't be uh, applicable. applicable. Um, Desert Camouflage will be our camo of the month. All month long in store, that camouflage will be discounted for you. Um, also, we will work to be able to make that happen online as well. But we're talking the six color digit, digital, I mean the six color desert, the three color desert, as well as the desert digital all will be our camo of the month for the month of January. Every month, it'll be a different camo we feature. So let's get started. What's a bug out bag? So a bug out bag, uh, also referred to as a go bag, is essentially an emergency bag. It's a backpack or a bag that you pack that can get you by for at least 72 hours. Um, bug out bags are typically used in cases of emergency so there's more extreme situations where people prep for like zombie apocalypses and things like that um, and you know it might not be a realistic prep uh for a zombie apocalypse but if 2020 showed us anything there's stuff out there that we just couldn't even think of that can just slap us right in the face and we're not prepared for uh, so a bug out bag is something that you have nearby uh, that is stuffed with essential items for you to survive or get by with the 72 hours. And it can be something to help you during a pandemic. It can be something to help you during a, a natural disaster. Here in Florida, we experience hurricanes a lot. God forbid your roof flies off or tornadoes coming through you and you have to kind of go. It's a situation that is realistic. Um, we, we saw a lot of different things in 2020 that kind of opened our eyes from, you know, protests that turned violent um, to, to riots, to pandemics, to even natural disasters. We're seeing what's going on in Ukraine with the threat of a nuclear war uh, between Russia and Ukraine. And, you know, being in the U.S., you know, we have it a little bit easier typically when, when it comes in terms of war and being attacked. But nuclear war and nuclear warfare is a real thing. And it's a real threat for everybody around the world. So a bug out bag can also be catered to that. So that's essentially what a bug out bag does. There's there's really uh, there's really three main types of bug out bags and then you can kind of branch and do it. Uh, the first of which is a 72 hour emergency bag. That's your bag in your house where you gotta leave, whether it's a mandatory evacuation or something happens and you gotta go, where you can just grab the bag and you have your main items in there. And, and it doesn't necessarily need to just be the survival items behind me, which is what a lot of people who put together bug out bags, they shop in this very room. Um, although these items are great to have for that 72 hour period, but it, it also needs to be items like cash, uh, essential medicine, um, essential documents from birth certificates to passports. This these are the kind of items that also go in the, in the bug out bags. It doesn't necessarily need to be a bag that's just for extreme living off the land. Although I do recommend you have items in there that can help you survive for those 72 hours if you do not have the proper shelter and the proper housing that you're kind of used to. So that's the first kind of bug out bag, the 72 hour grab and go bag. The essential bag everybody should have, regardless of where you stand on bug out or go bags and what you think of preppers or survivalists, um, they're not that far off. And 2020 kind of proved that to everybody. So in addition to the 72-hour bag, another great bag to have is your car go bag. So you're driving home, you get a flat tire, um, or you run out of gas on the middle of the road, something catastrophic happens and you're blocked and you can't get to your house, you need to have a bag in the car that you can just kind of grab and it's going to help you get home within 48 to 72 hours. Another essential bag, you know, food, water, shelter, uh, things of that nature should be in the car. It can be a smaller bag. It can be a smaller backpack. This is typically a smaller medium sized pack where the 72 hour one is a medium to large. Um, but this is a great bag to kind of put together and have in the car and there's great essential items we'll get into this in the series throughout the year years really because we're going to try to do this every month uh, for a long time about some of the items and dive a little bit deeper so uh, that's the second bag the third bag would be a 
pretty much your tactical defense bag. So this is a bag where if shit hits the fan, part of my French, if there's any kids watching, um, this is a bag that's going to have your loadout, it's your tactical loadout, extra mags, ammo, your, your plate carrier either attached to it, inside of it, or being able to grab and go, maybe some extra ballistic plates. So the tactical build-out bag is also a great bag, and we're going to do a tactical build-out series as well for you guys, from plate carriers to packs to things of that nature. Um, but that's also the third bag that might not be a bag you absolutely everybody needs, but is a good bag to put together once you get these top two bags. Other bags can kind of be catered to different events from um, chemical, you know, warfare, whether it's pandemics to gas leaks, having gas mask and, and chemical protective items to, to things of that nature is a great bag to have. Um, you can go the more extreme zombie apocalypse, you know, being off the land, escaping and survival type bag as well. Uh, so those are kind of the bags and what you kind of want to cater to when it comes to building your bug out bag or your go bag or your emergency bag, however you want to call it, whatever it's going to make you feel better. Either way, a bug out bag is essential to kind of put together uh, to help you survive for at least 48 to 72 hours, depending on the kind of bag. So that's kind of a bug out bag in an essential. You need essential documents in there. You need essential items that can kind of help you live and learn off of the land if you don't have those luxuries that you're used to kind of having from food to water to compasses to emergency blankets to shelters. There's a whole list of stuff that we'll get into uh, every month here to kind of help you build your bug out bag based on your needs. Now, everybody's bug out bag is going to look differently. What is important is every three to six months, you need to kind of analyze that bug out bag. Things expire. Uh, new ideas may come. It's essential that the bug out bag is light enough for you to carry and trek with. Your, your emergency bag should be no more than 30 pounds. You should keep it as light as possible, but you want to have the items in there that you feel like you will need should you have to grab it and go. Um, the car bag, obviously, you should keep that probably a little bit lighter. Uh, you're probably trekking on foot to get to your home. With a bug out bag and go bag, it's essential that you have an emergency route. You have it planned out in your in your head already. Where can you go to seek safety if something happens in your home? Where is your route based on the area? And, and that includes maybe keeping maps in the bag. If you're if you live in Florida, having a Florida state map. I know we're all used to our old, our phones. I can't pull mine out because it's I'm actually recording on it, but being able to do the GPS. What happens if cell towers get knocked down? What happens if your phone is dead? These are all things that you think about while putting together your bug out bag or go bag. So drop your drop some comments below. Let me know your thoughts of what your mind frame and mindset is when building your bug out bag. Some essential items. Any feedback is much appreciated. Um, and we're going to also have a blog post that's going to be posted. So you can also reference that blog post, kind of read about it and follow along with us as we release our bug out bag survival series here throughout the year. Um, and in addition to that, we'll be featuring and, and talking about some different, I, I say survival items because items that are in our survival outdoor camping room here in the store, or you can find in the survival outdoor category on our website. Uh, so we're going to be talking about some different items on that in a little bit more depth uh, with both blogs and videos. And some of these items might not be items that make sense to really put in a bug out bag, but are good items to even have at home. So you can have these essential items at home or in a bag, the important thing is you're able to put together a pack that is going to get you by for at least 72 hours. If it's at home, at least minimum 48 hours if it's in your car. Um, and you, you need to build slowly. Th these things can, it can add up. So you need to take your time, figure out what kind of bag, backpack or bag you want for your go bag situation. Um, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. Uh, probably going to talk about that in, in next week, next month's series. Uh, and then the, the different kind of items to have beyond the essential documents and your medication, because that's catered specifically to you. So we appreciate you guys uh, watching. Follow along with us. Leave us a like. Subscribe on YouTube uh, to our channel. It's much appreciated. We are a small local business. And uh, one of the things we are proud of is being here for people in times of emergency and during times and situations where Amazon's not going to get to you. So I know Amazon's a luxury and, and uh, we try to not mention that word in here. I'm just kidding. I, I mean, it's hard not to order online and use Amazon. But one thing we pride ourselves in as a business is being open and being here for our local community and military, tactical and survival enthusiasts 
all over the country who can order and get from a company quality items, not some Alibaba knockoff stuff that you can get cheap for Amazon that's gonna fall apart on you. You wanna make sure whether it's from us or another surplus store um, or some higher end brands or some higher end brands that have their own line of stuff. You wanna make sure that you don't go the cheap and easy route when it comes to your bug out and emergency go bag. And we're gonna talk about some of those items. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Let us know your thoughts on bug out bags. What's in your bug out bag, your go bag, and what's your mindset when you're building your bug out bag. And then next month, we'll go ahead and uh, do our second part of this series in February. So thanks for watching, guys.